of Bookworm's Bamboo and Beating Hearts. Item number, SCP-2989. Object class, neutralized. Special Containment Procedures Site-2989 Alpha has been constructed in the Arashiyama Bamboo Forest in Sagano, Kyoto, Japan, at the point at which SCP-2989 instances manifest. Site-2989 Beta has been installed at the former Barneswood Public Library, Barneswood, Montana, USA. While manifested, SCP-2989 instances are to be constantly observed and recorded. SCP-2989 instances may be handled for observation purposes while not feeding. SCP-2989 instances are not to be interacted with or disturbed while in the pupil stage. Description SCP-2989-A and SCP-2989-B are a pair of organisms resembling a Japanese emperor caterpillar and an orange spice bush swallowtail caterpillar respectively. SCP-2989 instances will periodically undergo spontaneous spatiotemporal shifts, relocating to a seemingly random point in time at either Site-2989-Alpha or Site-2989-Beta. In order to trigger these shifts, SCP-2989 instances will enter their pupil stages, at which point the instances will dematerialize and rematerialize outside of its chrysalis at another point in the timeline. Of note is that the time elapsed between when an SCP-2989 instance enters its pupil stage can last anywhere from a few minutes to several years. Though multiple temporal copies of each instance have been observed at the same time, and SCP-2989-A and SCP-2989-B have both materialized at the same time at different sites, at no point have both SCP-2989 instances been observed to exist at the same time at the same site. See Addendum 2. SCP-2989 instances have demonstrated the ability to ingest and metabolize both paper products and bamboo plant tissues with no adverse effects. Whenever dematerializing from Site-2989 Beta, SCP-2989 instances cause the growth of bamboo plants on nearby surfaces. Upon dematerializing from Site-2989 Alpha, SCP-2989 instances cause the discoloration of nearby surfaces. This discoloration takes the form of text in modern English, French, and Japanese. Addendum 1. Samples of text generated by SCP-2989 instances at Site-2989-Alpha. Text generated by SCP-2989-A. I see all your words. Why am I still unable to find you, my dear? A blind man is one who sees but has no vision. A faithful man is one whose vision is still beyond the horizon. How then can faith be blind? and vision needless of faith. Wait, I think we almost met that last time. Try aiming a bit to your left. I must find you, I need you, I miss you with my entire being, and yet even though I let all my words flow out from my heart in the present, they are unable to find you. Text generated by SCP-2989-B And so we follow endlessly, the troubles which we leave for ourselves, unable to move on, except in this hopeful infinity, unable to forget. Why are so many feelings needed when one overwhelms the universe? Twirling through the ocean vast, side by side two nets are cast. Each one hopes to snag the other, to hold love stronger than a brother. I miss you. Addendum 2, Incident 2989-Atlas. On blank, 2000, blank. Both SCP-2989-A and SCP-2989-B simultaneously materialized at Site-2989-Alpha. Both SCP-2989 instances moved towards each other, triggering a spatial disturbance. Once the disturbance had subsided, both instances had merged into a single chrysalis. After eight days, a butterfly of unknown species, designated SCP-2989-C, emerged from the chrysalis. SCP-2989-C's wings possessed a fractal pattern with orange, yellow, and green coloration. After 3 hours and 43 minutes, SCP-2989-C underwent a spatio-temporal shift, escaping containment. Discolorations on nearby surfaces formed the word whole in 55 different languages. Footnote, the same languages used on the Voyager Golden Record, as well as in three unknown scripts. No SCP-2989 instances observed as of Incident 2989-Atlas. Object class changed to neutralized.